Welcome to the in-service of the emergency lithotripter handle used in conjunction with a stone retrieval basket. This is an educational program designed to assist in the proper use of the emergency lithotripter. It is not designed to replace the information in the instructions for use that accompanied the device when it was purchased. This presentation is a supplement to the information contained in the Instructions for Use, or IFU. All the material in the IFU should be reviewed prior to operating this device. Before we review the procedure for the emergency lithotripter handle, we will need to inventory our supplies. You will need the emergency lithotripter handle, coil sheath, and wire cutters. The wire cutters need to be of good quality. Banded scissors will not work. Before using the emergency lithotripter handle, ensure that the rotatable bar can freely turn and confirm the ratchet lock works by engaging and disengaging it at the handle bar. In this case, we have a basket that has become trapped in the bile duct due to stone debris that cannot be dislodged. Let's prepare the basket for emergency lithotripsy. If using a wire-guided basket, remove the guide wire from the patient and scope. Separate the basket handle from the boot of the scope to facilitate removing the basket sheath and scope from the patient. To accomplish this, slide the plastic sleeve located at the handle away from the handle. Then, using the wire cutters, cut the sheath close to the handle. Now the sheath and scope need to be simultaneously removed from the patient. Do not remove the sheath prior to removing the scope, as this may cause damage to the scope working channel. Now you should have four wires hanging from the patient's mouth. Ensure that each wire is smooth at the end. Trim any frayed wire ends with the wire cutters. Frayed ends will not smoothly pass through the emergency lithotripter coil sheath. The wire ends in this demo are smooth and do not need to be trimmed. The wires are now loaded into the coiled sheath. The wires are advanced through the unmarked distal end of the sheath. The end with the green band is the proximal end and is connected to the handle later on. Ensure you keep the wires straight and together as you advance them through the sheath. Once the wires emerge from the proximal end of the coil sheath, count them to ensure all four wires are present. If any wire ends have become frayed, trim them with the wire cutters. We will now load the wires into the emergency lithotripter handle. Note that the emergency handle has two locks. One is a thumb screw that secures the coil sheath, and the second is the ratchet lock, which we tested earlier. The wires are passed through the hole at the top of the handle and through the hole at the center of the T-piece. Insert the green proximal end of the coil sheath into the hole at the top of the emergency lithotripter handle. Lock the sheath in place by turning the thumb screw clockwise as shown. Confirm the sheath has reached the stone. Ensure that the ratchet is in the locked position and confirm the coil sheath is locked into the handle. While holding the wires against the handle with your left hand, slowly turn the rotatable bar with your right hand to crush the stone. Once the stone is crushed, or the basket is broken, ensure that you relieve the tension in the coil sheath by disengaging the ratchet prior to removing from the patient.